If you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself. We have a new clothing brand called Parabolic. This is a brand dedicated to the crypto space. I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time and we're using a lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colours, range of different products, alright? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something, if you send me a message, what I'll do is I'll send you a free invite for the new Telegram group, which will be a paid Telegram group, okay, after that. Okay, so the first 100 people, you will get a invite sent to you for free, alright? Even if you buy something as small as a mug, you will get that, just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember the trend is your friend welcome back to the channel guys crypto likes we're back again with another video and today i want to talk about one that i haven't talked about in a little while actually i did one video about it um, when the youtube channel was new but I um, kind of forgot about it after that. Okay, so we're looking at Cardia Chain. Okay, this was brought to my attention by someone in the comments to say it looks like it might be coming for a bit of a breakout. So I thought I'd take a look. And um, yeah, it does look like Cardia Chain is getting ready for a breakout. Okay, now um, it's not quite there yet. All right, so I'll show you what I'm seeing in the chart. Okay, if we draw a line down there like that. Okay, we can see that it has actually broken through um, this resistance all right and it looks like it may have actually broken out of an actual triangle actually if we draw it like that okay now as we can see we're seeing it w up now okay but it needs to take out these two levels okay to start to move upwards okay so let's just draw another line and see where we're going from here okay it needs to break that level first of all okay and then it needs to maintain above that level and then kind of take out this level over here okay if we go from the bodies oh, turn that on we go from the candle bodies okay if we do break that level i reckon that cardio chain could actually get a boost to the upside it needs to see some volume though as well okay now obviously um you can see that when we saw the volume over here it kind of did build up and it did kind of break out all right now over here it's trying to just be moving like in a neutral level all right the volume has dipped off that's that could be a good thing okay because we could just see a volume spike to the upside all right so you see the descending volume now we need to see a breakout through this level all right i think that could potentially come all right i don't know what news there is on cardio chain at the moment so while we're on the subject we might as well go and take a look over on coin market cow okay now if you don't use coin market cow it's always a good one to go and find out um, whether there's any upcoming events in any one crypto okay i do use it a lot all right it's it's just easier than actually going on a website and looking for the uh, looking through the roadmap sometimes all right now if they are very active then they will be keeping this updated all right and that's always a good sign of whether the uh, cryptocurrency is doing what they need to do to keep their investors informed all right so let's just have a look at and see if there's anything coming for cardia chain okay something did just pass a monthly recap okay so nothing really much coming up coming up on that all right so at first glance this is just purely based on the chart structure all right and the chart pattern the fact that we just got the breakout the triangle it will be good to see some news come through on that all right um to support that in fact once we're going to have a look at twitter and see if there's anything coming through from cardia chain so another thing I like to do is check and see whether they are active, uh, whether the, the, the projects are active on Twitter and Telegram and so on. Okay. No, so as you can see, the last thing, uh, well, that's pinned actually. 
21 hours ago. Okay, they've got an AMA with uh, who's that? HC Capital. No, nothing else. So, so we could actually see that um, we we could actually see and um, something popped based on this AMA. Okay, that's on September the 11th. Keep an eye out for that, all right? Keep keep your eye on Cardio Chain, all right? Like, um, haven't done my research on Cardio Chain uh, lately, all right? But I do know that they are a good project, and there is actually a bit of a community behind it. Um, there's a lot of people hyped about this token, all right? But yeah, um, if we do get the breakout, that could be a good trade for you to make on Cardio Chain. Okay, got no target for that, all right? But I would expect it to at least find some sort of resistance up in this range okay so if we're looking at that if the, if we did get from the bottom of the, to the top you're looking at about 25 percent gain on cardio chain okay but in regards to long-term hold if this is one that you are looking to long-term hold uh, that would be a good entry to get in on that breakout and just hold that for the long term all right guys moving on to dyer okay i did notice that dyer is uh doing something all right but not quite yet, all right? We need to see it break through this bottom resistance line, okay? But it is curling up in the right direction, okay? The MACD is in a good place. We've got the cross, all right? And the momentum is shifting to the upside. We've got the RSI is heading up slowly as well, okay? Need to see that volume, okay? Need to see volume. Um, it is holding the moving averages at the moment, all right? Um, whether we can get a push to the upside and that, that is yet to be seen all right but dia um does have a lot of people rooting for it okay we saw over here a bit of a double top all right you got the m pattern come all the way down all the way down through all of that all right guys but now it is starting to come back a little bit all right we need to take out all of these levels to get super bullish on dia now if it did go all the way back up to the top okay and take out the previous high all right it would have to go up roughly about 83 percent to do that and that's not a lot it might look like a lot um it, it might look like a lot um the way i've got the chart stretched out but it's actually not a lot guys i don't think it would take much for it to get up there um i mean i think there's a little bit more um volume on other exchanges uh, at the moment i'm not entirely sure actually maybe i should double check that just to make sure okay um because dia is a uh, Definitely, I would have expected it to expected to see you know a lot more you know buying activity than that um, in the DIA chart. But then again, you know I can't have eyes everywhere, guys. So I'm not constantly keeping an eye on these charts. All right, guys. That's why I've got the new Telegram group as well, and um, you know like-minded people are gonna come together in that group, and we're gonna help each other to be successful in this game. All right so if you saw the ad what you can do is you can go you can buy something on the um, parabolic website all right uh, through teespring send me a message all right i'll be able to get you in the group send you a free invite so that you can join that all right the market cap's currently at 25 million okay so it's still quite low cap all right um i wanted to check what exchanges it's on okay obviously we know it's on uniswap all right qcoin Okay, so DIA is actually on Binance, right? When did that happen then? I'm not sure how I missed that one, but it is on Binance now, okay? So, um, yeah, if you didn't know, you heard it here first, you know, DIA is actually on Binance. Let's go and check it out on Binance real quick so we can see how it's doing over there. And when did it actually get on there? Let's have a look. I saw a tweet from Binance saying they've gone back to the original, the old website or something like that. It doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe I'm tripping. Okay, let's have a look. DIA. Okay, so it just got on Binance 369 nine days ago. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't know how I missed that, but you know, there you, there you have it. DIA is on Binance okay wonderful news all right so yeah um watch this space watch out for dia there's going to be a lot of volume moving through dia like i said i did i, I did expect to see more volume than that okay uh, more buying activity but obviously 
KuCoin can't claim it all, neither Uniswap at the moment because Binance is in the game now. Alright guys, so yeah, just a quick update, alright? Have a look at those charts, let me know what you think in the comments guys, leave a like and a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.